Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, because we are witnessing and experiencing something extremely rare. Boris Johnson's government doing something actually conservative. Oh yeah, I had to double check this news story before I um, confirmed it, uh, but uh, Electoral Commission that is uh, technically responsible for monitoring elections in this country. Over the last few years, uh, let's just say, coincidentally, whatever happened, they infiltrated by an agenda, by being politically biased at times, and also at the same time being slightly incompetent with other issues that we've had, with the electoral fraud. Now, this government, uh, Boris Johnson, finally tabled this, uh, this draft and this uh, new uh, move to reform the electoral commission and to crush the political bias part of it and and then the, the mirror the, the labor party supporting daily mirror had a bit of a meltdown and they did this uh, article so a lot of people who are not really politically involved they will read this and get scared it's thinking oh my god democracy is now being destroyed by the evil tories <laughs> hey i criticize the boris johnson's tories more but this is absolutely ridiculous, saying the Tories are quietly unveil extremely dangerous power grab to future elections watchdog. Um, no. So, reality. Let's talk about facts. This draft elect electoral commission strategy and a policy statement that was, uh, obviously, the parliament has to approve and everything else that needs, that needs to happen, the stages, is simply to change some of the problems that we have in the system. Uh, one is there's a problem with electoral fraud. But when we talk about electoral fraud, it's a big wide subject. And it's not just about rigging the election. It's also about uh, there are parts of certain communities in this country, especially Middle Easterns and the, the Muslim community, who are not really exercising democracy. Now, this is about the new guidance to improve the accountability of the Electoral Commission. Now, the, the mirror wants you to think <coughs> that Boris Johnson is completely destroying the commission to abolish elections. That's not the reality. The main thing is, for example, one of the issues is uh, to, do, uh, to obviously set up these uh, new rules is to tackle the family and community voting because in certain communities, Middle Eastern Muslim communities, uh, we have women who are not allowed to actually exercise their democratic rights. They're not allowed to vote for whoever they want because they have to ask their husbands and the that's still happening i mean we moved on from this culture decades ago in the west but of course multiculturalism is brought it back when you have i stood in local elections in east london a long long time ago a few years ago and uh, we had this problem where if you knock on the door and uh, any, 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 a middle eastern lady would open a door and say oh hi blah 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 can you vote for me and they say Oh, I can't, I have to check with my husband. And same applies to the daughters and sisters and everybody else. That's one issue. Then there's peer pressure. Then there's intimidation that's happening. And, you know, we've seen in Peterborough, we've seen in the Tower Hamlets. All that needs to change. But also the political side of the Electoral Commission. Do you remember after 2016 EU referendum, when the Vote Leave campaign won, and the Electoral Commission started this witch hunt against Darren Grimes, and eventually, Darren Grimes won that battle against the Electoral Commission. Yet, there was no apology, there was no reform, there was no reflection. That's just one thing. That's political side of the Electoral Commission. Then you also had, as I said, the vote rigging in Tower Hamlets, for example. I mean, it's happened in many other places, but as a culture, it exists in Tower Hamlets and it's still there. Nothing is being done about it. Where is the Electoral Commission if they really care about democracy and you know the true accountability? No, they don't really care about any of that. It's, it's simply being infiltrated by some people with political agendas and that's why this issue continues. Now in the next video in half an hour I'm going to come back and take a quick break. I'm going to come back and tell you about Emmanuel Macron who is now saying uh, we're going to be sending more illegal migrants to the UK unless you do something that they want. We're going to tell you that soon in that video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.